We're back with David Brenner. Now, I don't know if you've been following the Ellie and Gonzalez story, and the grandmothers came to visit. Yeah. And during their visit, uh, this is, they went back to Cuba, and on a talk show, this is what they said. We joked at the beginning about how he'd lost his tongue. This is when they were alone in the room with the little Elian. So I got his tongue out of his mouth and I bit it. I started teasing him. I even opened his fly and said, let me look at his parts. Let's see if it's grown. You know, teasing him to cheer him up because at that moment we felt so much pain. I don't think there's anything wrong with his <laughs> grandmother. She has well, a right sh show me your penis. Well, I mean right. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with the case. <gasps> I had a no. grandmother who was insane and mean, had nothing to do, no one would take me away from my father because my grandmother was a lunatic. No. You see? So the question really is, and, and, and this is something, and I know I don't want to insult any side of the Hispanic community, the question is legal, and what do you do with all children that this happens to? What do you do with the Haitian children who return back to, to Haiti? What do you do with all children that come to our shores? And what do you do with parents' rights? Where do parents' rights begin? Where do they end? You know, if it happened to an American child, if, a, if an American woman had tried to get to Cuba and died, and now this American child is in Cuba, and the father here wants him back, what do you do? What is the law about that? Mm -hmm. Do you want that American boy to come back? Or is he very happy, instead of living in, let's say, Harlem, in the Bronx, he's now on, in Cuba on an island with a beautiful ocean? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, what do you do? <laughs> Well, the father's You go here. to court. Yeah. That's what everybody does. You go to court. And yeah, what the trouble with court is this kid's going to be 38 years old when I go to the you. side to send him back. <laughs> and he's going to say, I don't want to go back. I just, I have a family. I don't want to go. I built a condominium yeah. in Miami. It's a sensitive area, but it should, all the emotion should be taken out of it. Everything should be taken out of it. Yeah. And but what you, you can't going? take emotion out of a situation. But you, like you got to say, what do you, what, what, How do you take not emotion? what is best for the child? It, you know, what is best for the child is not often being with the parent. If parents are bad news, what's best for the child is not to be with the parent. You know, we've been through that situation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But at the same time, if the parent is good, how can you lose your child? Regardless, how can you lose your child? And this kid's can't. First of all, what do you mean making him a citizen? Winston Churchill and this kid are <laughs> made citizens? Where's the comparison? You know, why not those Haitian kids they sent back? Why not make them citizens? What's the story? I don't know. Where do you draw the line? By the color of the skin? By the voting power of the community that has the child? What By how you, cute the kid is? Yeah, how cute. He's now, very cute. If this kid was a Quasimodo, <laughs> people going, get him back to Cuba. Are you kidding? And I haven't heard the word Cuba so much since I love Lucy, okay? And I'm a little tired of it, <laughs> I may say so. All right. Now With what, all due respect. Okay. Now, what has having children taught you? Woo. Is it right, difficult? Because you said during the break that yeah. you never wanted to have children. No, I never want to have children. Okay. My, my first one was a total accident, and he's wonderful, and I love him so dearly. And my other two were planned because, hey, you got one. You know what I mean? You got one, it's like you got one toe bandage. You can't walk. You might as well bandage the rest of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you already can't walk. What's the difference? So, but, but did it surprise you? What? Father? What it's like? Yeah, because uh, I had a wonderful father, and, and I'm a great father, and, and, and a loving father, and I spend the time and I care. But I had plans for very selfish plans for myself in, in way back when. I, you know, I, I wanted to sail the world. I wanted to be on this sailboat, and you know, I, I sail, I've sailed a lot of the world, but I wanted to take a two-year trip around the world, do all these wonderful things, and all this, you know, great things. Hey, it came out of the neighborhood, and I'm sailing the world. Wow, look at this spread. Wow, how did I do this? And instead, I have children. Right, but which is a bigger I, spread, whoosh, don't you think? It's beyond spread. Now, the thing is, will my children sail the world? You see, that's uh, what I think. You think? With yeah. you, maybe. Maybe, but on their own, it would be wonderful.